is the difference in the definition between an expat and a foreigner? Well, first of all, expats are British. A foreigner is probably uh, someone living from another country living in Britain. They become foreigners. The British are never foreigners wherever they go. Oliver Costa has the, the largest um, population of, of British expats in Spain. The coast has sprung up in, in the last 30 years, which is effectively um, an enormous um, housing estate, or not one, but, but dozens and dozens and dozens of, of um, very large housing complexes. It's effectively a British enclave. They have British TV, British newspapers, British shops, British bars. Effectively, um, they are living in um, um, Little Britain. Morning Joyce, morning Bill, how are you? We live in um, our own communities. There are ghettos, they are posh ghettos, but they are still ghettos. Um, there are no Spaniards around here. Any Spaniards that would be here are here probably because they are working for the British. I speak the language and I hardly ever speak to any Spaniards. Here, there are British people who have lived here 15, 20 years and cannot leave the coast because once they go off the coast they can't use English and they can't speak Spanish so they are confined to the coast. The best thing for you about living in Orihuela Ori Costa? <laughs> we Stop <laughs> We, we've been out here, uh, well, 13 years now. We've been here 11 years. What about you, Joyce? 14. We're very happy here. Lovely friends. The health service is very good here. And my wife went to get an appointment yesterday at the, do the doctor's, and she's got it for tomorrow. You couldn't do that in England. Uh, Eddie, did you vote in the referendum then? I did. Yeah. And you? Uh, I voted for Brexit. Yeah? Why was that? I just felt it was right for the country. In what way? Well, I just felt it, 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 we'd be losing control. And what, we, what the UK needs, and always has had, it's a control of its own borders, its mm. own lanes. Yeah. And all I'm afraid of in all this is that we lose our pension rights and our health cover. If those stay as they are, I won't go home, but if they change, I'll go. Will I move back to the UK? No. But you were... I can't take this with me. <laughs> Seventeen years now on the Orihuela Cost of Five. I probably visited the UK about 12 years ago. Well the biggest concern is whether I'll be able to stay in Spain, whether I'm going to be able to keep my British passport or I'm going to have to change it to a Spanish passport and become a Spanish resident. If we were to take on like Spanish nationality um, we would be able to because of speaking the language and then history yeah. from being at school. Our parents and my grandparents not so much because they don't speak the language, they probably know the history but not how to say it no. in Spanish and that's one of the main reasons which would be But it would destroy so many families yeah. and you know to have some people stay here and some people go back it's just um, for me it's just ridiculous. People that live in England like Polish and whatever a lot of them felt like they weren't welcome in England anymore. You know, they're coming out of EU, go back to your own country. We haven't had that over here from the Spanish people. Um, but I think Spanish need the English and whatever, you know, the Irish for, for the uh, economy. We're keeping the economy going. It's really difficult to find someone to speak in Spanish in this area. <laughs> I'm from Madrid, actually, but I came here four summers ago, just to work. I'm starting to work in an English bar, and uh, when I'm trying with my English very low level, uh, trying to get an order or ask for a drink, 
maybe I said wrong words or something funny and they I remember how a few people laughed at me because my English wasn't good I felt this is unfair in my own country how to speak in another language and being laughed about it I still haven't got the friends in the area but I think it's a matter of time one day the English will be to me like Spanish I hope I would be quite upset if I had to go home, you know, I mean, I've, as I've said, I moved here for, for a better way of life and I have a better way of life over here, you know, I'm quite settled, I have a place, I've got a little dog, I've got good friends and everything around me, I've got a good steady job. Before I moved here, I'd spent the last two years working in a call centre for Sainsbury supermarkets, earning minimum wage. A stressful job, it was a thankless job. You know, I, w I would be quite upset if I had to go back to the UK. I don't like not knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> I'd prefer that if they're going to turn around and say, this is going to happen, but it's going to happen in this amount of time, and this is going to happen at this point, and it'll all be finished at this time, and they just can't really give anything at the minute. <laughs> We'd be going back to nothing, really. We'll have absolutely nothing if we, go, if we end up going back. <laughs>